Hey hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video I will be telling you I am starting a new course on Azure Data Factory that covers a real time scenario questions as well as a end to end project using Azure Data Factory. Okay so let's talk about the table of content and I have already pushed three videos as a you know which which covers a very basic of Azure Data Factory like you know how to set up a Azure Data Factory, what is Azure, how to, what is resource group, what is you know, uh, what is subscription and how we can create an Azure Data Factory, how we can deploy the Azure Data Factory as well as I have told you about what is integration runtime, what is link service, how to set up a Git repo in Azure Data Factory till now. And apart from this I will be uploading two or three videos in on every day. Uh, I mean every day and uh, maybe by this week or maybe by end of next week I will be able to complete a full uh, course. Now the fees is very aff affordable and uh, this will be around you know uh, I guess 20 to 30 hours of content right. So if you are planning to buy this course if you are interested to learn something unique right then I would suggest to take this course and maybe I will increase the fees in future. So let's talk about this. Uh, so this is the course Azure Data Factory course scenario based interview questions and ADF end to end project. Now if you go down you can you know ignore this about the course and so you can see the course curriculum right. So the course curriculum is first one is introduction to Azure Data Factory. It is already 55 minutes over, right? You can see introduction of Azure and Azure Data Factory and the setup Azure Data Factory, understand integration and time link service data sets and triggers and then I have covered about you know what is setup. I mean how we can set up a Git in Azure Data Factory. Apart from this, if I click on this module one that covers interview questions of Azure Data Factory and you can see 19 sessions till now I have you know written just 19 session maybe you know in future or while while I create a video it will be 25 or 30 depends on you know uh, uh, the real time uh, questions. Cool. So first question will be like you know copy data from blob source to blob sync beginner level you know very basic then copy data from blob source to blob sync intermediate level how we can create a parameters, how we should write a parameters and you know how what are the you know corner cases we should handle while using these parameters things right. I, I, everyone knows about you know parameters in data set in link service but how we can implement that that is a matter and then how we can deploy those things that is matter. Okay then copy data from blob source to blob sync expert level then copy data from blob to SQL and so other, other stuff. Then we have copy data from REST API source to blob, copy data from REST API source to blob sync pagination, multiple ways to connect data like gen2, link service, right handle error, handle error handlings in, in uh, Azure Data Factory, incremental load using copy activity, full load using copy activity, fetch only latest file from source using copy activity. Now you might be thinking hey Saga this these videos are easily available on YouTube right. I can say yeah some of the you know some of the uh, uh, you know videos are easily available but the method the method the way the approach which I am going to tell you that is hardly available on YouTube. Okay see you can also write a print statement uh, right I can also write a print statement the way the, the, the way how I write the you know maybe how or you know how I solve the problems that is quite different and maybe you I mean maybe you know you can also learn from YouTube and other stuff but I can guarantee that if you take this course you will get something extra you know that is you know what I can say a tip and tricks to work on Azure Data Factory on real time right. So it's not gonna be a simple copy activity copy karo paste karo nothing like that thoda sa usme, you know I just you know put some extra. And if you have taken my first course that is uh, build Azure end to end pro project then you, you, you must have take this project and you must have liked that ADF approach of mine what I have you know shown you in that project. So this is if that is a I mean if you have taken this that that course so that is a child and this is a parent okay this is a father this course is a father of ADF. And then you know I can say you know uh, fetch only latest file from Azure source using copy activity data validation how you can date validate the data how you can validate the schema right use case of filter activity maybe 
you know uh, you know but i can tell you also use case of tumbling window to yours. join two sources and dump in sync unzip the source folder and dump the files in sync fetch data from tabular model copy behavior questions and there are some there might be some questions on azure databricks or maybe hd insights and all i'll let you know you know if i feel that that is required then i will try to add that right after that we have module to azure data factory end to end project course so in this course i will be you know fetching the data from multiple places apis maybe streaming databricks not databricks you know data lake blob storage and maybe power bi like like that then i will dump that data into one place and then you know i can also use history load i can also use like you know incremental load i can also use their uh, full load everything you know i'll just put it in one layer that is our data lake or all layer and then on top of that i will try to use our data flows to join two data frames clean up clean some tables and all the stuff then i will put that data data into a data base or maybe a data lake i will not use database i will use as a dumping layer as a data lake only right and might be if i think that you know i need to create a power bi on top of that so i will try to show you that also right so this is a kind of you know a complete project right a complete course i can say to master in azure data factory now you might be thinking hey saga i do not know Azure Data Factory. What should I do? There is a free course available on my website as well as on my YouTube channel called Azure Data Factory playlist in on YouTube and uh, Azure Data Factory basic of Azure Data Factory on my website. There are around 32, 35 videos available. That is more than enough to learn the basic. You know what is link service? If you do not know what is data set, how to create it? So you can. You can, you know, it will take around like 10 days to complete those 30, 32 videos and, uh, and then do a practice also and then you can take this course. I'm like 90% sure that if you, if you take this course, you will, you will be a champion in Azure Data Factory. I can guarantee it. I mean, 90% I can guarantee it, but 10% it depends on you whether you are practicing it, whether you are using your brain or not to solve the problems or just simply copying the code. Right? After that, also I will try to dip, I mean, I will try to tell you how we can deploy the code. Right? Maybe I can use a logic app. Maybe I can use a webhook. Maybe I can use a PowerShell. You know, many things are there, right? So I haven't decided yet on the module two, but definitely it's gonna be a very beautiful course on you know Azure side also Azure Data Factory side. And if you, if you haven't taken my any course yet, I will give the link in the description box. You can go and check out my you know some different courses. That is uh, Data Lake, Delta Lake, Azure Data Factory, or you know end to end project python course and so so that you will have at least a basic or you know good knowledge on these topics till then thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture chalo tada